Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we are doing a class called Prana Mudra or Prana Yoga and we're gonna as you can tell base the class around Prana Mudra and this is a mudra that is done for increasing vitality, energy, the life force in the body. It is also good for immunity, enhancing the immune system, uh, self-confidence. It can help with insomnia, fatigue, tiredness. It can help you get a little more grounded, yet more, a little more steady energy through the body. Not the vata, kind of like spazzy energy, but more the steady strong energy flow into the body it's good for the eyesight so it's all in all considered the mudra that heals um, 100 diseases <laughs> so it is a very healing mudra and a really beautiful mudra to add to any healing protocol whatever healing journey you're on it is a good mudra to add to your journey and always with these mudra classes I am being practical with them, so I'm making them accessible and doable in a short amount of time, but include that mudra at the end in your meditation or later on during your day when you're walking, watching a movie, just doing meditation, laying in bed, etc. You can hold this mudra for a little longer. So are you ready to flow with strength and ease? Starting at the front of the mat, we're going to bring the water, pinky, earth, ring finger and fire, thumb together and straighten the other fingers. So it's kind of like the peace sign, it is good for clarity and focus. So we're going to bring again pinky and ring finger and touch them to the index, uh, to, the, um, to the thumb. And straighten the index and the middle finger relatively straight without any military straightness but just straighten them and focus on your breath with the mudras you really want to get the breath going because that's how you tap into your energy some mudras are very powerful and especially if you are attuned with your body you can have experiences interesting experiences with them so be open, feel it, smile. We're gonna be lighter today, not a serious, serious subject, energy, vitality, focus, and just feeling the prana, life force in the body. Shift your weight onto the right leg and drop your circles with your left knee, keeping the belly active. Not super big circles, just a warm up type of movement, opposite side. And now straighten the right leg in front of you and draw a few circles with just your toes so the leg is steady and now with the whole leg again circles that the toes are drawing step it down circles with the toes on 
the left side and now move the entire leg again in a circular fashion open the arms out and reach out to the sides inhale into the lower lower belly into the diaphragm filling up the lungs free up and open the chest feel the position of your spine here you want to always maintain the natural curve lumbar curve of the spine so a natural curve throughout the spine we don't want it too straight or too curved we want to maintain that natural alignment sometimes when i say straight that's what i mean straight or flat back obviously i don't mean flat i mean a natural curve and speaking of flat back or straight back bend the knees just slightly and lower down keeping that natural curve which is when i say flat back is that natural curve lengthening the spine not rounding inhale coming up and reaching over the head keep your mudra for a little longer mudra going arch open your arms just at 45 degrees out feeling yourself as a tree vitality natural force moving from the feet up into your branches feel your for life force energy flowing through you tap into it there is truly powerful life force moving through you at any moment and sometimes it it gets a little dull and sometimes we forget about it but feel it it is the force that force that brought us here and helped us grow and bring energy into our life great shifting onto the right leg warrior three bend the right knee and come up one two three four five step it back to high lunge and lower down one two three four five and again warrior three level the hips one two three four five step it back one two three four five third round one two three four five step it back one two three four five fourth round one two three four five step it back one two three four five last round one two three four five one two three four five hold it think of movement this your body's way of celebrating life let's reach over to the right really lengthen here and you can even open back into a twist free the shoulders up lengthen the neck feel that length step it at the front and let's go into warrior three on the left side now we're reaching out to the sides because it's easier on the back level the hips and let's go one two three four five step it back one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five third round one two three four five one two three 
four, five, fourth round. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth round. One, two, three, four, five. If you completed the booty program, this should be <laughs> a little easier. Four, five. Good. Hold it. Twist a little. Reach. Reach back and lengthen. Here you want to find length. Great. Straighten. And now reach in a side bend here. Lengthen, lengthen. Straighten the lead knee and take a plie. Open the arms out and let's reach side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, upper body only moving, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, fifty. Twist, center, twist, center. One, two, three, four. Not a very deep twist. Just gentle, keeping the leg steady. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. This is a very root chakra. Pose in mudra. So we are starting to bring energy from where we source earth energy from. Continue with your really deep. Breath, let's straighten the legs. Step at the front, release your mudra. Bring your hands in Anjali mudra. Inhale your hands over the head. Lift, exhale, folding. Inhale, look ahead of you. Bend the left knee, left hand on the floor, right arm up and Give it a good twist. Opposite side. Grab your big toes and squat down. You don't have to squat all the way down and come back up, straighten, squat and straighten, squat and straighten, squat and straighten, squat and straighten. Squat and straighten. Great. Hands in plank alignment and step in plank. Lower down onto your belly and bring your elbows into your rib cage. Lift your legs off the floor. Lengthen the back of the neck. Roll the shoulders back and down. Lengthening as much as you can the back of the neck. Lift here, lifting the legs and lifting the chest. Now when you're ready, take your hands off the floor 
and maintain this. Feel the strength of your back. Exhale, down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through, warrior one. Hands in prayer. Bring your left ankle over the right knee and flex the foot, stretch the hip here. Step it back, warrior one. Let's take our prana mudra and again, hip opener, sit without resistance. Warrior one, three, round three. Back, four, and five. Step it back and hold warrior one, hold it. Feel the hips and the pelvis. Pull the belly in. Soften the chest, but keep it open. Deepen the breath and really stay connected with your breath. You, during our day, usually we don't think about our breath unless something is wrong with it. But we don't think about connecting with the breath, deepening it, slowing it down. Step it at the front of the chair, in chair, pause, hold, step back, right foot steps back, warrior one on the left side, level the hips, square the hips. So by square, we're bringing the right hip in and forward to bring them into the same line. By level, we are not tilting the pelvis with one hip higher than the other. We're leveling them so square and level. And you don't have to look square and level. <laughs> square is not a fun term. All right, ankle over the knee, flex the foot and relax the knee away from your feel this. Step it back. Two. Three. Make this about your breath, the dense of the breath in your body. Four. Last one. Hip opener. And you can step it down in chair. Sit further back. Hold it. That's another root chakra pose that I go in and out of madly in love with. <laughs> and exhale, forward fold. You can shake your head here, release the spine. on the floor, plank, lower onto your belly and again lift the legs, 
squeeze the elbows into the ribcage, lengthen the back of the neck, lift, bring the hands over the floor, hold, smile. And we'll release the hands down and press up into plank. Take a side plank on the left side and hold it steady. Spread the fingers open. Reach over the head. Plank opposite side. Breathe. Plank. Walk back, walking the hands back to your feet. Wrap your wrists around your elbows, hanging here. Let the head hang. You can let your body swing side to side. Hands behind you interlacing. Look over to the left and over to the right. One more time to the left and right. Back to center, back to your breath. Slowly come into a yogic squat with your hands, if you can, still clasping. If not, no big deal and let your feet open out to the side release the hands either in prayer or on the floor and we're gonna do the little duck walk so this is really opening for the hips and really therapeutic for all the joints provided that you don't have an active injury especially a knee injury of course if this hurts then either just stay in yogic squat or in the forward bend, whichever stage you choose. But if, if this feels good, then just take a little <sighs> duck walk. Did you do this as a kid? We did it. Imagine if we continued doing it the entire time up until we're old, we won't lose that capacity. So walk forward and back and try to bring your heels to the floor if you can otherwise onto the toes and gently allow your heels over time your ankles to soften all right back to the very back take a proper yogic squat and feel the hips here breathe out the hips let's release the hands on the floor and walk them to the front take a down dog Inhale the right leg up, open the right knee, lift, release it in wow thing, open the chest. And side plank one more time. Grab your big toe and guide it to the front. Drop the back heel down for warrior two alignment and come up, warrior two. Hold it. Prana mudra.
Keep deepening your breath and make this practice a dedication to your breath. A breath dance. Reverse it, lift and lengthen. Side angle. Reach over the head. Lower down, release the head. Front lower the hands down, low lunge, arm balance. And then step it back, up dog. Down dog. Spread the fingers wide open. Take the left leg up, open it, step it down, wild thing, lift, lift through the hips. Lift as high as you can. Take side plank. Grab your big toe and step your foot at the front. Take warrior two alignment and let's take warrior two. Explore the pelvic position in warrior two. The feet alignment, the feet position. Relax your shoulders. Soften the rib cage, yet keep everything open. Make sure that your front knee is pointing directly forward, so don't let it buckle in. Open it if you're really having troubles with it. Don't go very deep into the warrior so that you can align the knee directly forward with your toes. Find your position, find your alignment, and be fluid, experiment with it. Let your body yield into the pose. Hold it and feel right hip opening. Feel the breath going into the body, releasing, softening. smile going put energy into into your cheeks into your cheekbones so let them pull your lips into a smile not a real big smile or anything over the top just a face of a generally someone that you're resting happy face you know the resting bitch face so you have a resting happy face fall back 
on that if you're mindless. So if someone takes a glance at you, they think that you're feeling good. <laughs> Reverse it. They don't go, what's wrong with you? Which was a common thing people asked me in my 20s. I was like, what is this question? What is wrong with me? Nothing. <laughs> Say then go and really lengthen, open the rib cage. Feel it, feel that openness. Even I exaggerate it, make it a little bigger than, than straight up alignment. Open the rib cage up. Feel this. It's glorious. All right, release the mudra, lower down, low lunge. And bring your, bring your shoulder underneath, underneath your knee and take a little arm balance. <laughs> And release. You have to avoid the wall here. Plank onto your belly. Squeeze the elbows in. Lengthen the back of the neck. And lift. Lift the hands. Lift the feet of the floor and hold. Child's pose. And let's take down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Warrior two. Straighten the leg, reach ahead of you, triangle pose, level the, or keep the hips and the shoulders in the same plane. So back yourself up a little. If you're very ambitious with your poses, back up, back up, because I can be holding my toes, but I generally, 90% of the time don't do that. Just back up and try to keep the top hip, the left hip over the right hip. Press the right hip back. Bring the top shoulder above the left. Press into the inner edge of your front foot. Equally pressing into the inner and the outer, but focus on the inner. With the back foot, the opposite, focus on the outer. Reach over the head and bring your hands down, closing your right foot a little bit. Take a little stretch here. Side, side lunge. And step it back in plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog, down dog, and take the left leg up. Step it through. Warrior two. Straighten the lead knee here and feel your hips, feel your pelvis. Feel your alignment, you can, the way I'm demonstrating it, you can wiggle around here just to see the alignment, to feel the alignment, to find your alignment and begin to open that right hip, externally rotating the hip, 
bring the femur, the bone in your thigh, back in as if it's coming back into the socket. And so this is coming in, this is opening out and continue that work. Not everybody is open everywhere, most of us are not. So continue that work, take it as a process of course, not as a destination, as a continuous process, thank goodness. We're never gonna get there and that's the beauty of it. Reach ahead of you and really lengthen and then lower down. Back it up a little if you feel like you can. So here you're going to extend the tailbone down. If your butt is sticking out and you look something like this, which is a common misalignment, you're going to bring that tailbone in which will lengthen, which will lengthen the spine and it should feel comfortable. So adjust only to a degree where it feels comfortable. Great, closing the foot and bend inside, side bend here, side, side lunge. Great, walk your hands to the front, stay here in this lunge position and lower the left knee down onto the ground, flex the foot, open the chest, and lower down, pigeon. Hold it, breathe. This is a good moment to come back to your mudra. Walk your hands back up, bend your back knee, stretch it, stretch your quadriceps. Here you're going to bring your right leg back and around and find double pigeon, stacking the shin bones on top of each other, flexing the feet and breathe into your and gratitude, thoughts, vibes to your hips for serving you, containing you and helping you move forward in. I remember in, have you ever paid attention or read uh, Louis Hay? Organs and body parts related to uh, energy or um, in the body or um, 
pattern in the body, the hips are in the hips are moving forward. The knees, I want to say we're moving forward or changing direction. So whenever we have troubles, that's that's her symbolic interpretation. The hips really move, move us forward. And we have a fly friend, which probably is gonna be a lot of them in summer. <laughs> Great, so here you're going to bring the right leg down and left leg back and around. Flex your foot and lower down pigeon on this side. Keep the spine elongated, the rib cage lifted, the shoulders down. And come back to your mudra. It is interesting that the hippie sign is exactly prana mudra. And sometimes the fingers are under, but it is very uh, similar. Tapping into that abundance energy always available to us. There is a source of energy that is available to us beyond food. Kind of beyond sleep. <laughs> but it is the flow of energy that we can tap into. The universal energy. And this mudra is perfect for times when you feel that you need to increase your energy, vitality in a steady way. By increasing earth and water elements. This feels good, but we're moving forward. Come up. Bend the knee. Stretching here the quadriceps. Release and bring it back and around. Flex the foot before you lower down. Before you lower the knee, flex the foot. Try to, try to have your shin bones on top of each other flexing you can massage the flesh on top of the thighs rolling it out you can give it taps You can lean forward.
inhale coming up and let's open the chest lift it up finishing with a beautiful heart opening lift 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 you can come on to your fingertips and lift and release bring your hands over the heart bowing to our hearts for their forgiveness compassion and love and let's bring the hands over over the knees now we're gonna go back to the beginning of the class where we started with the mudra feel free to um, finish this class with a long meditation as long as it suits you coming into um, prana mudra and holding it for as long as it's beneficial to you you can hold it for 20 minutes 30 minutes just stay here this mudra is very beneficial when done in the privacy in a private calm peaceful place so Feel free to finish this class with a little longer hold or just a short hold, whatever suits you. Thank you for joining me today. Make sure to share my classes and my message with your friends, family, acquaintances. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment. And thank you all. I'll see you with our next class. Namaste.